The second step of this guide will take you through how to set up your printer and upload your 3D model that you want to print. If you haven't already watched it, check out the first step of this guide where I take you through how to prepare a 3D model to be sent to your printer. Alright, let's get started. First thing you want to do is loosen your build plate so that it can be calibrated to the bottom of your vat. So we'll loosen the knob on the left side and wiggle our build plate to make sure it's loose. We're also going to adjust the height of the build plate up so that way the bushing is sitting at its highest setting so that the build plate doesn't inadvertently uh, crash into the bottom of the vat when we move the build plate down. All right, next thing you want to do is go to your Creation Workshop host. So I have a shortcut set up and you'll notice at the top there's the IP address and the port for the Raspberry Pi that's plugged into my Ethernet connection. And on the right side you'll see the three axis controls. The uh, X and Y axis we're not going to use but we will be using the Z axis controls. And then if you scroll down on the left side you'll see the job progress uh, area of the Creation Workshop host software. And on the right side the job controls and on the left side the printer controls. Uh, further down at the bottom you'll see the controls specifically for the DLP. Um, the big function you're going to use here is the calibration screen uh, so that way you can adjust for the various XY resolutions you may be using for your printer. Alright so to calibrate our build platform we'll use the Z home and we'll also be using the manual G-code uh, box. So I suggest uh, you keep a cheat sheet of G-code so that way you can just copy and paste it. So I'm going to go ahead and open mine. Under my Dragon folder I've got a printer info notepad file and I'm going to grab the G code that will move my build plate down 200 millimeters so that the build plate can be calibrated to the vat. So when we go ahead and hit go, the build plate will start moving down. This will take about a minute, minute and a half, so I'm just going to speed it up so we don't have to wait too long. Once it reaches the bottom, you'll loosen the bushing so that way the build plate can sink to the bottom of the vat. And then I like to give a couple of good pushes on the top of the bushing to ensure that the build plate is in fact all the way on the bottom of the vat. Go ahead and tighten the bushing and then tighten the ball joint for the build platform. When we go back to our creation workshop, we want to hit the Z home button. Uh, but before we do that, we want to go ahead and push down on our uh, vat. And what this does is it reduces the separation forces between the build platform and the bottom of the vat. Uh, just so that way the stepper motor doesn't have to work so hard to separate that build platform uh, as it's trying to lift it up. So one good thing to do while you're waiting for the build platform to go back up is go ahead and upload your um, 3D model that you prepared in the previous video. So right now our file isn't under the upload section so we're going to go down and choose file and we're going to go find our one finger nuck file open it hit upload and now you'll see that it's under our upload section go ahead and select our printer and by now our build platform is at the top of the printer again and we can hit start job um, this print took uh, just about two hours and you can see on the left side the current layer. These are images that are being projected uh, by the high definition projector underneath the printer to produce this part. So go ahead and uh, thumbs up, uh, like, and subscribe. Uh, also check out the previous video, the preparing the model, and uh, the next video, which is uh, the finishing the print.